everyone. We often tend to use several apps parallel with email such as payroll, task manager, maps, doc scanner, etc. Instead of toggling between multiple apps and juggling among various tabs, you can now bring apps of your choice into your mail application to make your work much easier. You can develop custom apps, you can integrate other third-party applications, and what's even more interesting is, you can also build the functionality of two or more entirely different apps as a single tool into your Zoho Mail application. Excited to know how you can do this? Well, here it is. Download and install Node.js and then open your console to download and install the Zoho extension toolkit. Once that is done, follow these three simple steps to finish the task. Step 1. Create an extension. Sigma is an extension development platform for Zoho services. Here, developers can create useful extension using basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript without extensive coding. Log into Sigma and create a workspace. Open Terminal and execute the command zlogin. A new browser window will be launched. Click on Accept to complete authorization. Open Terminal and execute the command zinit to create an extension. Then, select the service as Zoho Mail. Give a name and description for the project of your own preference. A directory with a specified project name will be created. It will contain all required folders, files and packages. The extension will be created in Sigma under the workspace selected. Step 2. Extend functionalities via HTML or JS for your custom app. Navigate to the project directory and open the app folder. Fill in the resources or assets of your widget into the relevant subfolder. Execute the command zpush to push the changes you made locally to your extension to get reflected in Sigma. To run the extension, execute the command zcloud run. You can observe that the extension gets loaded in the right panel of your Zoho Mail account. In addition, you can also use the cloud editor in order to make changes to the extension created. Step 3. Publish the extension. Once you are done testing the application and making the necessary updates, you can open the extension that you created in Sigma and proceed to publish it with private or public access. Publishing the extension with private access makes the extension stay accessible only for you. You can also make it available only to your organization. Navigate to Mail Settings and select Share to Org option on the respective extension. Once the admin approves your extension, it will be accessible by your users. Alternatively, you can publish it as public to make it available in the marketplace for approval for the benefit of all Zoho Mail users. And we are done. You now know how to build the apps of your choice into your mail application. For more such how-to videos, subscribe to our Zoho Mail YouTube channel and thanks for watching.